assertion if a b c d are four points on a semicircle with center o center o such that modulus of a b a b is equal to p c is equal to c d okay so first let us deal with assertion right so in order to make sure that the assertion the diagram is clear i will redraw this okay i will redraw this diagram so we have got here um, o a d b and c let us first draw the vectors c <laughs> vector ab means the starting point is o and the end position is vector b right ac means starting point is a and the end point is c AD means starting point is A and the end point is D. So we have got three vectors here. Okay. So if we were to draw vector AB first like this, so we got vector AB like this. From the figure, we can say that another vector OB exists here, right? So I can basically write AB as vector AO and then here vector OB right which means by triangle of vector addition by triangle law of vector addition ao plus oa is equal to ab vector ao plus vector oa is equal to ab so in the lhs what do we have oh by the way it's not magnitude because if it's magnitude the whole equation would vary so it's just a vector so vector ab is equal to vector ao plus vector Oh, uh, I'm sorry, did I make a mistake here? OA plus, this should be OB, right? Yeah, vector AO plus OB. Vector AO plus OB. Similarly, we found out AB, let us find out AC. Similarly, let us find out AC. So, vector AC will be equal to, how is vector AC? Let us see. So, we got vector AC here, right? Vector AC, which would be equal to, we got O here, vector AO, and there is another vector another vector which is oc here so we can come up to oc here right so a to o o to c what do we get ac head to tail sorry uh, tail to head then head to tail then tail to head so a o o c gives us ac which means i can write ac is equal to i can write ac is equal to again vector a o plus vector OC right what is the third term the third term is vector AD so vector AD see since this is a semicircle we know that the radius would be same so AO should be equal to OD which means I can write here that this is equal to two times vector AO okay in which case if I mm, if I add these three equations what do I get vector AB plus vector AC plus vector AD is equal to 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 vector AO plus vector OB plus vector OC. So yes, assertion is true. Assertion is, assertion is true. Now let us discuss about the, the reason. The reason, what is given in the reason? The reason says, vector AB plus vector BC plus vector CD is equal to, oh, not again, not modulus, is equal to AD is equal to 2AO. Okay, see, no modulus again. Okay, so we know we know that AD is equal to 2AO is correct. Now, all we need to find out is whether AB plus BC plus CD is equal to AD. Let us see that. See, if you draw this alone, what is... So, this is AB and then we have got BC. Then we have got CD, right? So, it directly means that if AB, BC and cd they can be clearly arranged as a sides of a sides of a 
polygon in which case the last side AD can actually be written as the sum of the other three sides which is by polygon law of vector addition by polygon law of vector addition and therefore reason is also true but there is no link between assertion and reason so both of them are true but it's not the correct explanation so option b is the correct option